Професор Бух, България вече 4 години е част от Банковия съюз. И Европейската Централна банка директно наблюдава а, най-големите български банки. Как, какво е впечатлението от банковия пазар у нас? Well, let me say first of all that I'm very glad to be here. It's uh, actually the first time that a chair of the single supervisory mechanism comes to visit Bulgaria. So it's part of a series of country visits I do. I go to all the countries um, that are part of the of the SSM, and I'm very glad Bulgaria, as you've said, is. Uh, been part of our family um, since uh, since four years, but it's the first time um, that I'm here. Um, so coming to your question, um, I think I'm very glad to see how well capitalized the Bulgarian banks are. So, and this is thanks also to the effort of the um, the, the SSM, but also of the of the national authorities. And um, I think this is really important because we have um, generally not only by Bulgaria, but um, economically Europe, the, the world economy is facing challenges. So we have um, uh, climate related risks we have to deal with. We have geopolitical risks. Bulgaria is a small open economy and of course is exposed also to external shocks. And that's why it's really good to see that the banks are well capitalized. I think this is crucially important. Um, um, in terms of resilience, so that any future shock where we don't know where it's coming from, that it can be buffered by the banks themselves. And um, we also actually have a lot of evidence that, that better capitalized banks can also lend more and, and in a better way to the real economy. So I think there's a, there's a benefit for, for, for all of us. But of course, um, banking supervision is, is not just about capital and liquidity. It's also about making sure that there's good risk management in the banks, that the banks have good governance structures. So that's also something we pay very close attention to in the SSM and European supervision and with the colleagues here from the, um, from the national uh, competent authorities in Bulgaria. През последните години нивото на лихвите по ипотечните заеми в България остана ниско, независимо от това, а, че в еврозоната лихвите се повишиха. Смятате ли, че това представлява риск и какви мерки смятате, че са необходими да бъдат предприяти? Yeah, so it's interesting to see how, how different also our um, banking markets are and, and of course uh, you and people here are much more experts of the Bulgarian market. So let me maybe stay, start a bit more general and then come to um, your specific question. Um, so what we've seen over the past years is really a very low level of interest rates generally before the, the, um, the, um, the, the big increase in, in interest rates. And I think during this period, um, there have been a lot of vulnerabilities in the financial system that have been um, building up um, because of you know, low, low interest rates pro um, provide incentives to, to borrow more and maybe also to take more risks. So there's this famous term, the search for yield. And that's why I think it's very good that Bulgaria, as I've said earlier, um, has, has um, relatively high capital buffers, the counter-cyclical capital buffer. I think these are really the right policies to deal with this increase in, in vulnerabilities. Now, as I've said, now interest rates are much higher than they used to be and, and higher than maybe many of us have expected. That's, of course, also the, the, the response to the higher inflation rate that we've seen over the, over the past years. And now the question is, how long does it take until these higher interest rates feed their way through the financial system, through banks' balance sheets? And uh, um, we've seen in many countries that the transmission into deposit rates has been relatively slow. So in many countries, the banks, of course, enjoy the higher profitability because of higher interest rates, but they've sometimes been slow to pass through higher um, uh, um, interest rates into deposit rates. And if my understanding of the market here is correct, then also um, the, the lending rate are closely tied to the deposit rate. So that might be a reason why also the, the pass through into lending rates is a bit slower here than in other countries. But again, I'm not um, the expert on the Bulgarian economy. I'm sure there's other people who know much, much more about it. In any case, when it comes to the pass through to lending rates, I think we also have to consider the loan demand. So in many of our countries, loan demand is relatively weak. So that also constrains the ability of the banks to um, to increase lending rates. Now coming to the risks, um, I think it's clearly something that needs to be monitored. So um, credit growth um, in this country is still relatively high and I think there's always an issue about 
um, the, uh, the housing market. Uh, we've seen in many, many episodes before that there can be financial stability risks coming from the housing market. So I think it's really important to monitor credit conditions, also to see what are loan-to-value ratios, um, debt service-to-income ratios. And I think it would also be then for the um, national authorities to act in case they see a deterioration of lending con con conditions and to, to use um, borrower-based measures, as they are called, because they really target the, um, the demand side of the, of the loan market. The other measures I talked about are more about the supply side. So, but this is for the national authorities to, to um, decide. But I think it's really important to very carefully monitor what is happening um, on the lending market. How do you view the relationship between the BNB and your institutions? And how do you think that this will be affected на присъединяването на България към Европейския съюз. I know this is a very, you know, important discussion for this country, which I, which I fully understand. And um, I, I have to say, though, even though I come from the ECB, I come from the supervisory side of the ECB, so we're actually not direct in, di directly involved in these decisions and also not in writing the integration report. As you know, the ECB will write an integration report going through the criteria that, that have to be fulfilled in terms of price stability, fiscal stability, and then it's for the political authorities to, to decide. Um, but of course, when I look at it from the supervisory perspective, it's really important that um, if at some point countries um, join the, the, the euro area, that they also have a sound and stable financial system. So this is why we have a close cooperation agreement, as we've discussed earlier, with the national authorities here. So Bulgaria is, is a full member of the, um, of the supervisory board, the single supervisory mechanism. And from, from, from that perspective, we are very glad to cooperate and closely work with the, with the colleagues. But this doesn't have immediate implications for, for the decision on the, on the euro accession, which is for other, other people and other bodies to take. Станаха 10 години от основаването на надзорния съвет на Европейската Централна банка. Какви механизми разполага институцията сега, така че да предотврати бъдещи кризи, такива каквито видяхме по време на голямата рецесия, когато много банки бяха спасени с пари от данакоплаци? more stable um, and we don't want to see bailouts um, that we've seen, as you've mentioned in many cases during the global financial crisis, that taxpayers' money is being used to cover the losses um, that banks have, have experienced. So we've actually done a lot globally, so there's been a big reform agenda in the G20 with better capitalized banks, um, resolution policies that also um, aim to prevent the too big to fail problem that often the, the, the large banks are being rescued. Uh, many other banks that have been done on the derivatives markets. Um, so I think from that perspective, globally, we're in a better place now. And, and Europe has done a lot of institution building. So when we talk about the banking union, we didn't have the banking union at the time of the financial crisis. So we have new institutions. We've given power to the European level by closely cooperating with the national authorities. So all this is big progress. We have higher buffers in the banking system, not just uh, when the banks are in operation, but also for the potential um, uh, failure of a bank, because supervision is about making failure less likely, but we cannot prevent it. So we also have to deal or think about what to do when banks are um, coming under distress. So all this is very good news. Um, does it mean we can sit back and, and uh, stop working? No, because we know there's, there's new risks out there, so we always have to be very vigilant and we have to make sure that we also understand where are risks in other parts of the financial system. So we are in a, in a, in a better position now. We, are, we have a strong foundation, but we also have to make sure that we are good and effective supervisors um, so that it, it stays like this. Thank you very much.